about why nuts and seeds are not a part of a healthy raw food lifestyle. Nuts and seeds are actually not raw, so you can take that whole idea and just throw it away. The, the nuts and seeds are heated at a very, very high temperature. And recently in one of Durian Ryder's videos, he debunked the whole idea that nuts and seeds are raw. So they're really not a healthy part of a raw food lifestyle at all. I'll give you a few reasons. First off, you cannot digest them. They are very, very difficult to digest. They give you a heavy, sluggish feeling in your stomach, and the only proof that you really need to know that nuts and seeds don't fit into a raw food lifestyle is to eat them. Do an experiment. Try a low-fat diet and then try a high-fat diet. You'll know if you eat a meal of nuts and seeds, as so many raw foodists do when you go to a raw restaurant or make something gourmet, you feel heavy afterwards. You feel like going to bed. Number two is that they cause acidity in your body. Now, fruits and vegetables are alkaline. Nuts and seeds are very generally acidic in nature, so when you have them in your body, it is going to cause an acidic reaction. You are always going to feel your best when you are eating foods that cause alkalinity in your body. Reason number three, and this is a big component of the 80-10-10, the low-fat, high-carbohydrate raw food lifestyle, is that if you cannot eat one food all day long, if you cannot eat it for a whole entire meal, then it is likely not meant to be eaten. You can eat 10 bananas. You can eat a couple heads of lettuce. Can you eat a whole box of nuts? Not likely, or maybe you could, but you're going to feel pretty crappy afterwards. Another thing is that nuts and seeds are dry, so they're very dehydrating. The whole idea of eating a raw food diet is to feel hydrated, to feel alive and vibrant and light and full of energy. Nuts and seeds are never going to deliver those results for you. And they sit in a box in a warehouse. Who knows for how long? You don't know when they were dried. I mean, they could have been sitting in a warehouse for the last year or two. The reason that I don't eat nuts and seeds in my diet is because I realized they were causing a problem. Not only that, they're very addictive. When you eat fiber-rich foods like fruits and vegetables, there is a signal sent from your stomach to your brain to let your body know that you are full, that you can't fit any more food in. But when you eat an abundance of nuts and seeds and oils, that signal doesn't get sent until you are so stuffed full of nuts and seeds that you feel like sleeping afterwards. It's like after you eat your Christmas dinner where everybody's so lethargic and feeling crappy. It's the same feeling when you eat a ton of nuts and seeds in your diet. Can they still be enjoyed once in a while? Yes, they have the potential to do that. For me, nuts and seeds were causing skin problems. They were also causing digestive issues. When I would eat them, I would feel that heavy, sluggish feeling. I never felt like exercising. I never felt the vibrancy that I wanted from a raw food lifestyle. They also caused skin rashes, eczema on my arms, and acne on my face, my chest, and my back. And when I cut out the nuts and seeds from my diet, I noticed so many changes. It was incredible how much lighter I felt, how much brighter I felt. If you do want to eat nuts and seeds on a regular basis, I really suggest keeping them a small amount in your diet, like maybe a handful a week tops. Try to go 30 days without eating nuts and seeds and see how incredible you feel. Do you eat nuts and seeds? If you don't, tell me why. What do nuts and seeds do to your body? So if you like this video, press the like button down below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys tomorrow.